Anyways, I'll I'll remember that in a moment. Let's dive into game number three of these Wings of Liberty strategies, and let's actually see what the hell madness people are going to be going for. Our next one is going to be a gold game between spawning up here in the top left-hand side. Our Red Zerg player. It is what a beer. What a beer, mate. What a beer. And his opponent down here in the bottom left-hand side, representing Trumpen. It is Wolf. Oh my god. That face. Beautiful. Alright, looks like Wolf is going to be going straight across the map for a proxy. Barracks play, I think, is going for gas first? Yeah. What? What is this? Oh my god, Water Bear. Water Bear, does he see this? Oh no! <laughs> Wait, okay, no, he's just scouting? Water Bear's going pool first. What? What is Trump and Wolf doing here? What are you doing, Wolf? Barracks is going... Okay. Into a second. Gas. Ooh. Okay, we're going to just see some... Maybe it's like a 1-1-1 or something. Some tech heavy heavy rush. I'm really curious to see what Wolf pulls out here because... Um, I guess there's a lot of one base all-ins in Wings of Liberty. Might be doing like a 1-1-1. The old, let's just go for a tank Banshee Marine push. Maybe going to proxy something though. I mean, this this... SCV over here just looks super suspicious. So we're going to have to see what goes on there. Of course, Water Bear still on one base. Hasn't expanded yet. Staying one base for a very long time. Um, is going to just be kind of playing it super safe. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where both players go with this. Only one guy mining from each gas guys are back at home here for Trump and Wolf so far. Um, so very interesting opening. Factory is going to be proxied over here. So there's going to be some sort of dirty, dirty play. There is going to be something really weird happening right now. Super weird. Water Bear still hasn't started to queen. Okay, let's... um. Okay, Water Bear's just going down to take the gold base right now. So Water Bear... And building a spine crawler? Okay, Water Bear's got a very odd build here. This is a real weird one. Um, Still no queen on the way. Oh my god, we've got a Brood War player in the house. Building a quick sunken. <laughs> and getting up a, a hatchery now to macro out of, I guess. Um, meanwhile, Wolf building a few marines at a time. The factory is going to finish up. Very curious what he does with that. Of course, um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see some banshees or something, but we see an armory. Oh my god! Okay, it's a Thor rush, boys and girls. Finally, we've got an extra guy on each gas geyser here for Wolf. Getting a little bit more gas sync up. It's going to be a proxy Thor rush. Okay, okay, it's all coming together right now. For a moment, I was like, Armory? But you couldn't build Hellbats in Wings of Liberty. What kind of a dumb build is this? I see what Wolf's doing. Okay, Proxy Thor, Thor drop on one base. This was like all the rage in the early days. Because you build this one powerful unit and then you just like A-move it. And your opponent usually couldn't deal with it. Especially if you bring SCVs to repair. So that's actually sick. The Armory finishes. And here we go. Come on, Factory. Start producing. Start that light shining out from inside you. There we go. We can see the sparks flying out. That Thor is being produced right now. And that's going to be sick. Oh my god. No, no medevac or anything like that though. Um, I do wonder if Trumpet Wolf is just going to pull SCVs with this. Right now these marines already killed two overlords on the map. Um, which does push back Water Bear's vision. Water Bear has spines in the main. But nothing at the natural right now. Um, of course something to, to think about as well. Is that well? I'm pretty sure a Thor... Doesn't outrange a spine crawler, but I'm not 100% sure. I know it basically has the same range, so a Thor can actually kill a spine crawler pretty quickly. But Zerglings are good against Thors if you've got enough of them. I don't think 10 is enough to take down a Thor, especially not with 10 SCVs coming across the map. Woof, bringing back some blast from the past strategies here. He's going to be just running in with that Thor, having it completely surrounded by SCVs, repairing it. So it heals pretty much as fast as it takes damage. Wolf waiting for a second Thor right now, waiting for these SCVs. Maybe going to wait for two Thors and the Marines backing it up as well. Right now for Water Bear, it's just non-stop drones in that production tab. Roach Warren is almost finished. Zerglings are going to go across the map. Oh, the depot's down. Oh god, if those Zerglings run in, this might turn into a base trade actually. Oh man. Wolf, Wolf, no, no. Okay, the Water Bear Zerglings have stopped for now. The second Thor's about to pop. Here we go, boys and girls. Double Thor rush. 
SCVs and Marines in the mix as well. And this is the first moment where Water Bear sees what's happening. These spine crawlers are going to have to do a hell of a lot. The SCVs are just going to be buffering for the moment. The Queen's already going down. One spine crawler goes down. Oh, these Zerglings are going to run back, but the Thors blast them down almost instantly. This spine crawler needs to go down. It's doing a lot of damage right now. There we go. The SCVs are going to start to repair. These Thors just blasting down these Zerglings right now. Not enough surface area. The SCV is body blocking for them. And the Thors take down every single unit. Water Bear's got a couple of roaches coming out. They are going to try and focus it down. But as long as the SCVs can keep repairing... Oh man, Water Bear's just getting completely shrecked by this proxy Thor rush. Two Thors here in the natural. Just going to focus down this hatchery. This roach here is going to be taking a lot of damage as well. The Thors continue to move forward, focusing down these overlords. The overlords are all going to go down. Man, I hate when my Thors stop to shoot overlords. They always do this. Thors are like the laziest unit sometimes. Um, are going to go into the main. The Wall of Spines is going to try to come up. This is so desperate. There's just not enough damage for Water Bear. Even if Water Bear had like 15 roaches, this would be a really hard ass to win this battle. Um, with the repair, the third Thor joining in. It's actually a pretty strong rush. Like, if your opponent doesn't really kind of scout, um, if you snipe down a couple of overlords, they don't react to the fact that you're on one base, this is actually a sick little build. A couple of Thors here, gonna overwhelm this spine crawler. And that's it, Waterbear is in shock right now. 1400 minerals in the bank, not able to spend the money. No GG, he's gonna tap out. What the fuck? GG's. Thor is here. Not a Duma. Alright, guys. That was sick. GG. Let's dive into our last game of today, guys. And this one's going full nostalgia mode. Because check it out, we are spawning it on Metalopolis! Blast from the past. I did say when I announced this week's topic, Wings of Liberty Strategies in 2017, I said, look, bonus points... If you can find a friend and play on a map from Wings of Liberty, if you can play on one of the classic maps, I will be so happy. Welcome to an old StarCraft 2 battle report, says Steven. Of course, guys, spawning up here, it is Steven, also known as Swarmlord1, um, who's been featured in like a billion of the IC files because he always does the most ridiculous, crazy shit. And his buddy over here is spawning in the top right-hand side. It is VFAM Dark Minions. Who is also one of my favorite uh, IC Far players because both of them are so creative and ridiculous in how they solve the challenge every week. They love to just throw out some hilarious, weird, crazy builds. Of course, we are going to be seeing a hatchery fast expand here against a macro hatch for Steven. <laughs> oh my god. So it's going to be ZVZ. Now, already, we can see that this isn't a 2010 Wings of Liberty Zerg vs. Zerg because they've built a hatchery. In 2010, you would always go 14 gas, 14 spawning pool, and then you would run Ling Bane at your opponent, and they would run Ling Bane at you, and eventually one of you would miss micro and you'd die because no one knew how to micro properly or just put two queens on their ramp or anything like that. Um, and, and very occasionally, you'd expand after like five minutes. Now, Steven right now has gone for double hatchery, double macro hatch, neither at the expansion. There is a drone that's on this weird path right now. Oh, it's just scouting, I think. Okay. So neither player has gone gas just yet. Dark minions, though, with the more standard spawning pool timing. He's going to be uh, seeing this macro hatchery. going to come in here. It's going to see no natural as well soon. He's going to realize he's up against something super weird. Dark Minion starting the queen production there. Going to be getting up that uh, production a little bit faster. Steven here. No zergling speed yet. No natural. What the hell does Steven do from here? And a gold hatchery. Oh, okay. I get it. So Steven is going to go for mass slow zergling. And use the resources mining from the gold and just a, a sheer overwhelming number of slow zerglings in order to try and keep Dark Minions on the back foot. But if Dark Minions gets up Banelings, then he'll be in a good spot. That's the problem right now. Dark Minions has actually got like a whole lot of minerals, no gas at all. And they're both massing slow zerglings. I don't know if they planned this one out beforehand or something. They're both going to take the gold base. Steven sees it as well. Has Dark Minions seen the gold? No, he hasn't, but he does see all of these zerglings coming out. 
sees heaps of Zerglings flooding out across the map. He's banking up a lot of his own Zerglings as well. We're about to see a slow Zergling battle. Maybe this is a 2010. Maybe this is like a beta all uh, play here from Steven. Already sending drones out to take the gold base. This Zergling rush going to be coming in. But he's actually down in army supply right now. Dark Minions is well prepared to hold this. Steven's going to need to turn around and run away really fast. Dark Minions actually leaves the base just as he comes in. What's going on? What the... What the, what the frack right now? This queen on the natural is going to go down. Oh, he actually lets it, es uh, lets it escape. The Zerglings of Dark Minions do come back. Steven needs to get on out of there. Does he see the gold? Yes, he does. He's going to need to try and fight at this gold base. If he can deny that, that'll be great. These slow Zerglings doing a good job so far. The income shooting way up for Steven. You see, it says it's lower right now. But now that he's got these drones mining on this gold, oh, a lot of them actually ran back because the hatchery wasn't finished. They went and returned the mine mining to their main, but they will um, give him a much bigger income once they finish mining there. So for now, we do see bigger army supply for Dark Minions. He didn't transfer drones. He didn't lose the mining time. He's got way more slow Zerglings here. We're about to see Clash of the Slow Zerglings right now. Holy crap, that's an ugly battle. Um, Zerglings versus Zerglings. It looks like Steven actually had more Zerglings and a slightly better angle, even though he was down in overall army supply. There we go. A lot of Zerglings were left at the back by Dark Minions. More and more Zerglings are going to be coming in now, realizing suddenly just how I forgot to turn health bars off today. Because all we can see is a blob of health bars fighting another blob of health bars. <laughs> this is so dumb. Neither of them stay in gas, they're just going to keep rallying the Zerglings. And come way up for Steven right now, as the drones are going to have to transfer over here for Dark Minions. Dark Minions, of course, does have multiple hatcheries mining. But there we go, is now transferring over to the gold. The army supply is dead even. We do finally see a gas starting up for Steven. But for now, it's just slow zergling versus slow zergling. The endless, most exciting battle of all time, except not really, because it's just slow zerglings derping around, running into each other. What cruel master never decided to give these guys zergling speed. Well, Dark Minions is finally going to rectify that. It looks like Steven is going to rally these slow zerglings down around the southern side of the map. Goes for a bit of a flank. Dark Minions in hot pursuit. The queen and drones are going to evacuate from here. Looks like Steven's going to try and uh, focus down this hatchery. Dark Minions is coming back, though. Does shoo him away for now. Doesn't catch any of these Zerglings, though. Not just yet. Oh, look at this maneuvering from Steven, actually. And more Zerglings coming up to hit the gold. Steven pulling Dark Minions out of position right now. And meanwhile, the Zerglings running onto that gold base. Oh, sick plays by Steven. Needs to not get cornered down here, though. Dark Minions is hot on his heels. And it looks like, oh, all the drones are going to force to evacuate and die at that base. Steven's going to take down this gold hatchery, secure an advantage for himself. He's still got those double macro hatcheries in the main and, uh, as well. So way more production for Steven right now. A single Zergling in that natural forces the pullback of the entire army. Dark Minions concedes the hatchery. It goes down. This is just way too many health bars, guys. I need to change this. This is terrible. <laughs> Let's put that on damaged. So at least we only see some of the Zergling health bars. Steven right now in a commanding position. Going to start a Baneling Nest is Dark Minions, though, and that definitely will give him the potential to win. He's got Zergling speed about to kick in. Oh, wow. Okay, not as many Zerglings. He's got 56 versus 81, but with Zergling speed finishing up way quicker and a Baneling Nest about to be done, this makes your Zerglings way more effective because they just get into position and they get the surface area. They, they get the better concave much quicker with Zergling speed. Is he going to fight, though, or is he going to counterattack? His Baneling Nest isn't ready, and Steven wants to take the fight right now. This is a kind of bad position for Dark Minions, though. Oh, yeah, it takes a lot of damage. He's got to actually turn around and fight um, whenever he's got a nice angle. I think now's an okay position to fight, but it looks like a lot of his units are trapped behind. He's giving a nice angle to Steven. He's going to just go back and forth, buying time for the moment. The Baneling Nest is done. It's time. He needs to morph some Banelings. But where? Where will he morph Banelings? He's trying to morph them up here. He's going to try and buy time. Oh, no. Oh, my God. All of his Zerglings getting surrounded. Taking so much damage. These Banelings need to finish morphing. Steven is desperately trying to focus them down. Can he focus down all these Banelings though? I don't think he can. The Banelings finish morphing. Dark Minions looking good right now. Steven realizes it's desperate. He needs to counterattack with his own Zerglings. This is going to get messy really fast. There's just so many Zerglings here for Steven. He's going to overwhelm the natural. At the same time though, Dark Minions is going to actually head back and try to defend. He's going to try and save this natural. He is going to be able to save it. Playing safe for the moment does force the Steven to evacuate his own gold. Steven's income is knocked back down quite low. Steven still doesn't have a Baneling Nest of his own. But, oh, it's all about the Banelings! Oh, 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 oh. Instant replay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ha, 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 ha. 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 Ha, ha, ha
<laughs> oh my god, that was disgusting. Alright, so I think I'm going to dive in here from Steven. Going to dive into that main base. Um, no, going to get surrounded. Dark minions here. Good defense. Comes back and suddenly, massive advantage to Dark minions. No banelings on the map right now. But... Actually, slightly down in the Zergling count as well. So, Steven's still playing the run around. Nosy can't fight the Ling Bane front on. He's just going to run away with these Zerglings. Keep trying to build more. And he's going to do a big Zergling counter attack on the south side. Dark Minion's going to dive in on top of this base. Going to try and overwhelm. A lot of these drones are going to go down. Nice control from Dark Minions. Steven's going to have to come out and try to defend this. And it looks like Dark Minion's going to focus down that hatchery. Or is he? There's a massive Zerglings counter attacking at the same time. Gold base goes down, reset to one base. Steven gonna do the same to here, to Dark Minions though. It's all about this one Ling Bane attack and... No! No! Oh my god! Run, Zerglings! Run! No! <laughs> oh, poor Steven. He's getting shrecked over here. Looks like Dark Minions gonna overwhelm. Actually, that spine crawler in the back with the drones buffering as well, doing a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Steven's going to kill everything back at home. Nice hold position on that queen. Those drones blocking for it. Not going to be able to kill all that much, though. This spine crawler. 10 kills. 11 kills. Oh, man. That spine crawler defends. It holds on for now. And right now, there are a lot more Zerglings popping out for Dark Minions, though. Dark Minions does have the income. He's going to be able to, you know, with this next rally of Zerglings, potentially be able to take this on. But it's all about the positioning. Can't get surrounded. There we go. That's a good position for Dark Minions to fight. Is bringing home his other Zerglings as well. It is 12 army supply to 7 right now. Dark minions in the lead. Both players at 0 workers. It's all just this Zergling versus Zergling battle. And it looks like Steven is cornered. Dark minions here. Using those banelings to superior effect. Is going to overwhelm pretty much all of these Zerglings right now. Steven desperately tries to run away. Rebuilds a single drone. Just going to continue mining it. Keep in mind, by the way, guys. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no. These are, these are Legacy of the Void mineral patches on these maps. Okay. I was wondering why the mains took so long to mine out, and then I remember they went and took the gold bases and transferred workers there. So I was like, oh, that's what happened. And Dark Minions is going to come across, would have got four Zerglings. With a Spine Crawler, though, maybe they can defend the 20 Zerglings. This Spine Crawler is so well positioned, it's so hard to get up close to it. Um, but, oh, Dark Minions had more money. Dark Minions is actually re re rebuilding his economy way faster. But Steven here with the sneaky two Zerglings is going to come in, focuses down one drone. He's going to get a second drone. Oh my god, this is the sickest maneuver. The Zerglings are all the way across the map. They're going to take forever to get back here. He's trying to run the drones. He's trying to keep them alive. But they're all going to go down. He doesn't have enough money to build another drone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Steven, you did not just bring this back. He just killed the economy. Dark minions can't rebuild. Two hidden Zerglings. Steven says yes because he knows he's got this spine crawler. And now Dark Minions has to go all in. It is 21 Zerglings versus 4 Zerglings and a spine crawler. It is all about that. Notice he's got the Zerglings on hold position to limit the surface area of that spine. I would actually love a drone like there and a drone there, both on hold position as well. But he's just going to be trying to rebuild this. Here we go. Dark Minions is going to come on in. Look at this hold position on the drone. He has to focus fire that. Loses a yet another Zergling though. Or two. It's only 18 Zerglings. There's a single Baneling morphing out of the map as well. It's going to get back here. The Zerglings going for the surround here. And it looks like Dark Minions, man. He focuses down all these units. He's got to try and take down this spine. The single Baneling. The hero Baneling. It needs to get over here. But wait, no. That's Dark Minions Baneling. He's going to do it. Okay, Dark Minions. Barely, barely overwhelms at the end of the day. Steven there almost with a miraculous comeback. That was sick. Holy shit. If he, if he brought it back from there, that would have been so incredible. Like, the hero two Zerglings. Oh my god. But, at the end of the day, Dark Minions will win. Is checking to make sure there's no more hatcheries mining. Because he's playing it really safe, so let's fast forward. So he's checking every single base, and he says, Okay, you don't actually have a base. It's fine. I can just kill your hatcheries now. And he just needs to make sure he doesn't die to the uh, Broodlings, of course. Oh my god, he fought the Broodlings. Sloppy. Run, run, run. You gotta run away. You can't fight the Broodlings. He keeps fighting the Broodlings. A single drone rebuilt here for Steven. He just started mining. Okay, come on. Come on, Dark Minions. Don't panic. Look at this drone. It runs off and hides in the bushes. But yeah. 
You you can't do it, man. You've only got one structure left that actually spawns Freedlings. The last drone does go down. Steven taps out. G G. Well played to Dark Minions. Brings it out there. That was just insane. I love I love you two guys. You guys send me the dumbest replays. It's amazing. That was beautiful. Thank you very much to Steven and Dark Minions. Um, as well as, of course, Sluka? Or was it? it was Shallow. Shallow, Wolf, and Imalayan, who won with the six pool in game number one. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Don't forget to send in your replays for next week. No micro. Interpret it as you will, but for the most part, just no micro. Pretty obvious. I have no idea if the games are going to be terrible or amazing. Um, just send in your replays with no micro. <laughs> Try it out. <laughs> Do what you can. I'm fine with you throwing out the occasional A move. I'm not saying you literally just need to rally the units and then not touch them. But um, figure it out yourself. Interpret it yourself. Show me some funny games. Uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate all the support from everyone in chat. If you're in chat, don't go anywhere. But if you are on YouTube, I will be back, of course, tomorrow with yet another daily. Do want to talk about some of those replays from WESG. Um, going over a few fundamental things, which I actually am learning myself. So we're probably going to start tomorrow with a TVP build, looking at some of Maru's games, copying some of innovation strats, and uh, going through how to do a standard TVP opening. Then we'll kind of look at defeating Liberators in PVT next week, because that's a hot topic, and, and how to deal with those sort of two-base tank Liberator pushes, because I know that's what Reddit wants to see. All right, I don't know. You probably don't want to see an answer to that. You probably just want to complain a bit more, don't you guys? Uh, uh, everyone's been whining their asses off on Reddit lately, but as always, there's always a way for us to play better and win games, so... Um, not that I disagree with any imbalance claims, I don't agree with them either. Just kind of having a bit of fun. So, um, I'm blabbering. Let's finish the show. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to hug a watermelon, kick a worse, and of course, punch a garden gnome to the moon. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and good night.